Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome to everyone. I am Walid Ibrahim Al Alewa and I will introduce Traveler 6 for the third secondary grade, the second semester. And the topic is revision for unit 5 and unit 6. Let's start now. Okay, here we have body and mind. This is the topic of module 3. And in unit 5, we are going to review this unit about reported speech, statements, questions, commands, and requests, adjectives plus prepositions, expressions with come, idioms, collocation, adjectives plus nouns. And this is from page 55 to 65. Okay, now let's start with grammar. This is about reported speech statements. What is reported speech? Before we, start, before we start, in direct speech, we repeat the exact words that someone said. We usually use the verb say, and the words of the speaker are put in quotation marks. Okay, this is direct speech. For example, Irina said, this is a quotation marks, Tina is on the phone. This is direct speech. Now let's talk about reported speech. In reported speech, we report the, me the meaning of what someone said the meaning only we will take the meaning of what someone said without using their exact words without using their exact words we use a reporting verb usually say or tell followed by that and the reported statements that which can be omitted okay we use say and tell and don't use the exact words for example irina said tina is on the phone irina said that Tina was on the phone. Now, what do, you, what do you notice? Notice here this symbol is in the present and this symbol in the past. So when you use a reported speech in the sentence in present, change it to, uh, to past, okay? When we change a sentence from direct to reported speech, pronouns and possessive adjectives change according to the meaning of the sentence, okay? For example, I like your new bike, said Ian. This is a reported speech now. Ian said that he liked my new bike. Okay, now this is direct speech and this is a reported speech. When you want to change a direct speech to reported speech in present simple, past simple, when the sentence present progressive, make it Past progressive, past simple, past perf perfect simple, present perfect simple, past perfect simple also. Present perfect progressive, present perfect progressive. Well, would in reported speech. Can, could, also, must, we have must, uh, change it to had, for example, Kevin said, I want to buy a new car. This is present simple. We will change it. Kevin said that he wanted to buy a new car. Dan said, I will call you later. We will change it. Dan said he would call me later. Okay, also we have reported commands and requests. We commonly use tell, beg, command, advice, warn, or order when we report commands. And, and uh, request, we use ask when we want to report a request, okay? The imperative, the imperative, uh, imperative means uh, open the door, don't sleep, eat a healthy food, okay? The imperative changes to full infinitive or not plus full infinitive. So full infinitive, two, and the base form of the verb, not plus full infinitive, not for the negative, okay? So be quiet, children, said Ahmed. This is a command. Uh, we will change it now. Ahmed told the children to be quiet. Now this is full infinitive. Okay, don't tell anyone, please, Laura said. Laura asked me not to tell anyone. Okay, not and full infinitive. Okay, 
Also here we have special introductory verbs. There are a number of special introductory verbs used in reported speech. So for example, this structure, verb plus full infinitive, we use it with the verbs agree, claim, demand, offer, promise, refuse, threaten, etc. Okay. In these verbs, we use it with verb plus full infinitive. How? For example, I will, I will babysit for you, said Patty. So we will change it now. Patty offered to babysit for me. Now, offered. Okay, we change uh, or we add offered. Okay, another structure. Verb plus object plus full infinitive. With advice, allow, ask, beg, encourage, forbid, invite, order, permit, remind, warn, etc. Okay, we use these verbs in this structure, verb, object, plus full infinitive. For example, you should take better care of yourself, Ivana, said Sally. So we will change it to, Sally advised Ivana to take better care of herself. Okay, now also we have another structure with these verbs, verb plus ing form with accuse somebody of, apologize for, admit to, complain to somebody about, deny, insist on, suggest, etc. So let's take this example. George lied to me. Lied to me, said Mark. Now this is, uh, we will change it to the uh, reported speech. Mark accused George of lying to him. يعني مارك اتهم جورج انه يكذب عليه. Now another structure verb plus that clause for admit, agree, claim, complain, exclaim, explain, inform somebody, promise, suggest. For example, you never listen to me, he said. He complained that I never listened to him. Okay, here we have practice. Rewrite the sentences in reported speech using the correct form of the verbs given. Number one, or the first one, if you don't stop making noise, I will call the police, said Martin. This is written. So in written, we will use verb plus full infinitive. Let's see. Martin threatened to call the police if we didn't stop making noise. If you don't hear this is imprisoned, if we didn't change the pronouns also. You, we. Okay. If I see Jackie tomorrow, we will go shopping, said Kate. We will use say. The answer is Kate said that if she saw Jackie the next day, they would go shopping. Well, would. Your parents are arriving tonight, Brenda, Dina said. Tell. We will use tell. Dina told Brenda that, or that her parents were arriving that night or tonight. Parents, your parents are arriving tonight. This is uh, present progressive. We will change it to present uh, or past. Past progressive parents were arriving that night. Okay, here we have a reported questions. We usually introduce reported questions with the reporting verbs uh, ask, wonder, and want to know. Either, uh, so when you want to uh, make a reported question, use ask, wonder, and want to know. The verbs in reported question are in the affirmative form, in the affirmative form. Why did you go to the doctor? He asked, so we will change it. He asked me why I had gone to the doctor. 
If the direct question begins with the questions word, the reported question also begins with the same question word. So when we start with why, uh, put why, where, put where, okay? Where are you going? He asked. He asked me where are was going. Present simple, past simple. When we change questions from direct to reported speech, pronouns, tenses, adverbs, etc. change in the same way as in reported statements. اللي استخدمناه في reported statement غيرها بنفس الطريقة اللي هي pronouns, tenses, adverbs. Okay. If the direct question doesn't begin with the question word, إذا لم تبدأ ب who, which, who, why, where, question word. The reported question begin with if or whether. مثلا هنا Did you enjoy the presentation? He asked. We will say He asked me if or whether I had enjoyed the presentation. Here we have vocabulary. Number one adjectives and plus prepositions. So see here familiar with to ashamed of serious about different from proud of curious about popular with capable of see this example young man you should be ashamed of yourself talking to your classmates like that is unacceptable Okay, here we have the second thing, expressions with come. We have some expressions with come. First one, come into effect means to begin to apply. Come to terms with means to accept something. Come or came to light, to light to be made known. Come in handy means to be useful. Come true means actually happen. And come into power means to take a position of leadership or control let's take this, this example eric's mobile phone came in handy last night when he had a puncture and had to call for help the third part in vocabulary about idioms and as you know idioms is uh, or are a group of words that has a special meaning that uh, is indifferent from the ordinary meaning of each separate Word. So don't take the meaning literally in separate word. For example, food for thought means something that makes you think carefully. Train of thought. Series of thoughts that are connected in some way. Have second thoughts means to change your opinion or have doubt about something. Have to be seen to be believed means to be unusual but true. Make believe means not real, and a penny for your thoughts means something you say to ask someone what uh, they are thinking about. Let's take this example. Why don't you tell me what are you thinking about? Come on, a penny for your thoughts. Now, let's take collocations, and this is about adjectives plus nouns. Okay, the first one, uh, common sense common sense and that means the ability to behave in a sensible way and make a practical decision mental power mental power strong influence vivid imagination lasting impression stimulating environment wide Range, wide range, burning, desire. Okay, let's take this example. Imad always, Imad's always making up stories. He's got such a vivid imagination, vivid imagination, ability to imagine unlikely situations very clearly. Okay, the first time I saw his paintings, they made a, a lasting impression on me. Lasting impression, uh, something or someone that uh, remembers for a long time okay now let's do the exercise choose number one you don't look very happy are you having second thoughts about sharing your flat 
uh, change your mind means. This is this is idioms. This map of Europe really came in handy, useful. When we were traveling around Holland and Germany. Number three, Adrian Bolton looks capable of breaking the 100 meter swimming record at any time. Okay, now let's start with unit six. And in this unit, we will revise Unreal Past, Inversion, Lexical Set, the body, uh, phrasal verbs, take and bring, expressions with get and Put and this is from page 66 to 77. Okay, we will start now with vocabulary about lexical set. This is about the body. We will talk about some parts of the body. Let's start with the first thing head. This is a head, and this is eyebrow, forehead, eyelash, chin, nostril. Nostril, this is not nose, uh, but uh, one of the two openings at the end of the nose. Upper body, this is upper body, this is shoulder, and this is elbow, and this is waist, the part around the middle, the, the, the part around the middle of the body between stomach and hips, and this is chest, also chest is the upper part uh, of the body in front, uh, of the body okay this is belly okay lower body this is what this is thigh thigh this is the top part of the leg okay and uh, this is calf the back of your leg or of the leg shin shin is the front part is the front part of uh, the leg and ankle is where you uh, where the foot joins the leg okay we have also organs parts inside uh, inside the, the the chest lungs liver that cleans your blood kept kidneys one of the two parts of the body uh, kidney is uh, one of the two parts of the body that separate waste liquid from the blood and we have intestines that is uh, the tube in your body that carries food from your stomach okay let's take now grammar this is about un unreal past okay when we use it or how we use it we use unreal past in unreal situations or impossible wishes that's it present or future reference sometimes we use the past simple we use the past simple when referring to the present or future this is called the, the unreal past so this structure wish plus or wish if only plus past simple wish plus past simple or if only plus past simple we use it to make a wish wish about a present or future situation which we would like to be different for example i wish i uh, i wish you did you didn't have to go tomorrow but you have to or i wish i had a bigger house but i don't also this structure wish if only plus could plus per infinitive per infinitive to express regret about something we cannot do it or do at present for example i wish i could speak italian and also we have this structure we use wish if only plus would plus per infinitive when to express annoyance or irritation or dissatisfaction and uh, to make a wish concerning a present situation that is unlikely to change the subject of would must be different from the uh that of wish okay for example i wish the days would go be more uh, quickly we use should rather plus past symbol to say that we would prefer somebody to do or not to do something 
the subject of would rather must be different also from the subject of the main verb. For example, I would rather you didn't use my phone. Okay, also we have this structure. We use it's time, it's high time, it's about time, plus past simple to express criticism or complain about something that should have already been done. For example, it's time you went to bed. Also, the, the last expression or the last structure, this is for as if, as though, plus past simple. Use it for untrue situations. For example, he speaks as if he were an expert. He were, not that he was. Then, the unreal past, we use the word was with he or she with. Also here about past reference, we use wish, if only, plus past perfect symbol, past perfect symbol. In past reference, we use past perfect symbol to express regret about something that happened or didn't have happened in the past. For example, I wish I had, I wish, wish, I had, this is past perfect, uh, taken, I had taken a torch with me. I can't see thing. Or we use would rather, as if, as though, plus past perfect symbol for unreal situations in the past. For example, I would rather you had informed me earlier. Or he talked to us as if he had known us for years. Okay, so we use wish, if only, would rather, as if, as though, it's high about time, plus past symbol when, when referring to the present or future. But we use wish, if only, would rather, as if, as though, plus past perfect, when referring to the past. Now, let's take this exercise. Number one, I would rather the children hadn't gone, didn't go to bed so late last night. This is in the past, so we use would rather and uh, past perfect. Hadn't gone. Two, it's high time Nasser decided what he wants to uh, study at university. Decided. Decided. Three, Aisha is uh, my older sister, but sometimes she acts as if she were my mother, as I said before. Number four, I wish I could, or can, I could also, I wish I could uh, find time to visit my cousins in Riyadh more Now let's take vocabulary about phrasal verb take. Take after means to look or behave like someone else. Take back means to admit that what you said was wrong. Take down means to write down. Take in means to understand. Take off means to leave the ground. Take on means to accept. Take over means to take control. And take up means to occupy space. Let's take this example. Take back what you said or I will never speak to you again. Let's talk now about expression with get. Get down to business means to start work. Get even with means to take re revenge. Get into trouble means to face problems or difficulties. Get on somebody's nerves means to annoy. Get the better off means to defeat. Get the sack means to lose one's job. For example, I lost uh, or you lost your job. Let's take this example. Come on, people. We'd better get down to, down to business. Start to work. If we want to have the project finished by Wednesday. Okay, here we have uh, phrasal verbs about bring. Bring about means to cause something to happen. Okay, phrasal verbs, uh, verb with uh, preposition. Phrasal verbs uh, with bring, bring about to cause something to happen. To bring back means to cause to remember. Bring in means to earn. Bring up means to raise a child. Bring around means to convince someone to change their mind. Let's take the example. Looking at those pictures, brought back some happy memories for me. Expressions with put. 
put pressure on means to try forcefully to persuade somebody to do something. Put a stop, stop to means to stop something from continuing. Put the blame on means to accuse somebody of something. Put effort into means to do something using extra energy. Put money into means to invest money. Mm, this example, my father is putting pressure on me to go to night school. Rami has put so much money into the business that he has none left in the bank. Okay, the last thing we have, we have grammar. This is about inversion. And uh, inversion means when you change the order of something. Okay, but in grammar, in English, in English grammar, when some words or expressions, usually with a negative or restrictive meaning, are at the beginning of the sentence the sentence is formed like a question okay but is not a question this is a sentence but is formed like a question the auxiliary is placed before the subject okay this is called inversion and is used for emphasis and as you know uh, in every sentence in english the subject comes first and then a verb. But in inversion, we start with a verb, and after that, we will put a subject. And I'm sure you know the questions uh, structure. The verb comes before the subject, but uh, in inversion, also there are uh, or there is uh, a verb comes before uh, a subject, and this is a sentence, not a question. Okay, and uh, the thing that you must understand about inversion, uh, there are some particular uh, expression or a view expressions in inversion that in inversion that you use it in uh, inversion sentences. Let's talk about these expressions now. Never before. إذا جتني هذه العبارة مثلاً بستخدمها. In virgin, but never in my life had I laughed. In a good had I, okay. Never in my in my life had I felt so embarrassed. Oh, rarely, rarely does he does he. Magal he does does he use his credit card only, only in an emergency should you dial triple nine. Not only, but also. Not only did I lock the door, but also secured the windows. Uh, not until, not until I saw him in person, did I realize how tall he was. In no way, in no way is he to blame for what happened. Little, little did he know that a surprise waited awaited him, under no circumstances, under no circumstances, would he accept my proposal. Okay, we have also seldom and hardly ever when and nowhere. Oh, no, now here uh, on no account by no means, and uh, we have no sooner. Okay, let's do the practice now. Expand the notes uh, into sentence using inversion. Number one, under no circumstances, you should be root uh, pass. We will say, under no circumstances, should you, should you, not we should, uh, you should, should you be rude to the boss? Two, no sooner uh, he enter home last night, oh, uh, enter home last night, oh, uh, phone ring. We will say, no sooner had he entered, had he uh, entered past perfect his, uh, his home last night, then the phone uh, rang. In no way, Kevin, except go out Danny tomorrow. In no way will Kevin accept to go out with Danny tomorrow. Well, Kevin, well, Kevin, okay? Now, at the end of these lessons, we covered in the previous lessons, Unit 5, and this is about reported speech, statement, questions, commands, and requests, adjectives plus prepositions, 
expressions with come, idioms, collocations, adjectives plus nouns. And also we, so we talk unit six, and this is about unreal past, inversion, lexical set, the body, and phrasal verbs take and bring, and expressions with get and uh, put. I hope that's clear. Thank you very much for your watching this video and the, pre uh, the previous videos. Thank you very much and good luck.